Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with more than one application at a time. Because sometimes when you're working you need to be using two different applications. For example, you might be typing something in Microsoft Word and also need to use the internet to get some information. So right now I have a window open from Chrome and that is getting me on the internet. And I'm also going to go down to my dock and I'm going to open up Microsoft Word. So that will open up right here. Alright, now the first thing you need to know when you have more than one application open is that you can look down on the dock to see what's running. You can tell by looking at the little tiny black dots that are underneath the applications. So this is the black dot for Google Chrome and this is the black dot for Microsoft Word. So that tells me both of them are currently running and open somewhere. I can see that Word is open, not just because I recognize the big white screen for Word, but also if I look in the top left corner, right up here, it tells me the name of the application that's currently active. Active means it's the one that's on top and the one you'd be working with right now. So I can type in Word because it's the one that's active. If I wanted to get back to Chrome, there's a few things I can do. Right now I can see my Chrome window in the back and I can just click on it. And now if you look in the top left, you can see that Chrome has also become the active word up here on the left. If I wanted to get back to Word, I can click where I see Word in the background. Now what happens if I don't see the other application that I'm looking for? Another thing you can do is click anywhere in the top part of the window and drag. So I'm right now clicking and dragging, and now I can see where my second application is. I can also click and drag off to the side there as well. I can click back, and now if you take a look, you can see Word is active. If I click here, I can see Chrome is active. And you can even do this within more than one window as well. If I had a brand new window open in Chrome, I can also move a second Chrome window over so that I can go back and forth from the two different Chrome windows. Now it's important to know that if I wanted to type in Word, I can't type in Word until I've first gone to that application and made it active. So in other words, I could be looking at it, but just because I can see it doesn't mean I can right away start typing in it unless I first click in it, make sure Word is active, and then start typing what I need to type. Now another thing that's very helpful when you work with more than one application is to resize your windows. And resizing just means to make them a different size than what they are now. So what I will do is I'm going to resize my Word window and my Chrome window so that I can see them side by side. What I will do is go to the bottom right corner where these little diagonal lines are and I can click and drag. I can go sideways, I can go up, or I can go diagonally. And that's how I can resize my window. Now if I go back to Chrome, I'm going to do the same thing in this window. I'm going to go to the bottom right corner, click, and drag. Now I'm going to drag from the top of the window off to the side, and you can see that now I can see more of each window. And I can also drag from the side if all I want to do is go side to side. I can't go up and down here. Up and down doesn't work, but if I'm just looking to make it wider or narrower, I can go from the side here. So now I can have them side by side. So that is a few things that you can do when you are working with more than one application. Another thing you might want to do is to minimize something to the dock. And what that does is it hides it for a little while until you need it again. To minimize an application to the dock, what you want to do is look for the little yellow circle it has a line in the middle like a minus sign. You click it once and your window will go and hide down on your dock. It's not gone forever, it's just down at the bottom of your screen. Now if I wanted to get it back, 
I can click it once on my dock and it comes right back up where it was. And you can do that with any application or window you need. Go back down to your dock and bring it back up. So here's what you can do to practice. If you would like to practice this on your computer, go ahead and open up two applications. It doesn't matter what they are. Once you have them open, first check which one is the active application and practice switching right between them. Click on one, check which one it is. Click on the other, check which one it is. It also works if you click the icon on the dock. If I click on Word, it brings that one up. If I click on the Chrome icon, it brings my Chrome window back up. So practice that. Practice opening up the two applications, switching between the two. Then practice clicking one and then dragging it along around the screen to move it. And then practice resizing your windows so that they are exactly the size you want them to be on your screen because it can make your work a lot easier. I hope you enjoy these very helpful tricks.